guys, what is going on? It is Dunbar Snack Bar here with Star Wars Sunday. We're on Coruscant here, taking out the Justicars, trying to find the third Noeticon. Um, now you can see I've leveled up since last time. I've done a few things here since I showed the last video from yesterday. One of the things I did is I went back to the Republic fleet and I just messed around with some PvP a little bit. Uh, also did a heroic quest that I was supposed to do way back when, and I didn't. And it kind of wasn't too exciting because I didn't get any XP off of it or anything like that. But I don't know. I'll probably be doing it somewhere along the lines down the road. So anyway, that being said here, still kind of where I'm supposed to be, though. I'm going up against guys who are level 14, 15, and I'm 16. So I guess I do have a little bit of an advantage. I'm just taking out just cards right now. That's usually something I do at the beginning of it all is I just take everybody out here just so that way I can get the experience points because every little bit helps that's something I've kind of recognized playing some other games and I don't want to be lagging behind like get to a situation here where I'm going up against somebody who's like four levels above me and then of course when I struggle there's nothing I can do about it except go back and replay some stuff anyway so this is kind of helpful for me to be able to do of course while I'm here on this port of, uh, this part of Coruscant as well I'm going to be picking up a few quests, so we're going to go ahead and show you uh, the first quest I'm going to pick up here. Um, excuse me. Excuse me, Master Jedi? No, no, don't look at me. Just look casual. Act like you're not talking to anyone. My name's Jafke. I'm with Republic Security. Is the street clear? Any Justicar patrols? Are you always this jumpy? I am when I'm in a place like this. I already tangled with the Justicars. Trust me, you don't want to underestimate these guys. I appreciate the warning. Gladly. I wouldn't want anyone else making the same mistake I did. Republic Security was actually excited about the Justicars at first. A bunch of ex-military guys forming a militia to take back the streets. Not everyone who shares your goals is an ally. Republic Security hoped the Justicars would work alongside our officers. Bring order to Coruscant's lower levels. But they pushed out Republic forces just like they did the criminals. They keep the peace down here, but they definitely aren't on the Republic's side. If the Justicars aren't working with the Republic, then who are they working with? No clue. They pushed out Black Sun and the other criminal groups, but their goals are still a mystery. They've tried to run surveillance on their activities, but their signal jammers block every attempt. I thought disrupting the jammers would be easy, but the Justicar patrols are everywhere. Is there anything I can do to help? I... yes. Yes, that'd be great. I built the devices to disrupt the Justicar's jammers. They just need to be installed. Can you do that for me? I'll take the devices and place them for you. Thank you so much. Here, take the devices. They need to be planted at several points around the district. That's the tricky part. Justicar patrols are everywhere. Once you've planted the devices, make your way back. Good luck, and thanks. Is it just me, or is everybody with Republic Security just absolutely horrible at what they do? They just wimp out at everything. So, we go ahead and we find the first place that we have to set down the jammer. Of course, there's some Justy cars sitting there waiting for us, which you can kind of see. So, I'm going to meditate, get Kaizen up, because this is still a little bit faster, and I don't have to use any force points uh, for it at all. So, we're going to go ahead and go on the attack. These hounds are kind of easy to take out. So that's kind of the strategy I use too when we're going up against a group of people is I'll send Kaizen after the toughest ones and then I'll take out some of the easier ones as well. And it works out for us, just like you saw. All right, so I'll go ahead and insert the anti-jamming device. All right, got two more here. So we'll fight our way towards this other one. Now. Uh, one of the things that's really cool is I've gotten a couple messages from you. People who have watched these videos and really enjoy it. Tell me you guys like the videos. And when I say messages, I don't mean on YouTube. I mean on Star Wars The Old Republic, which is cool. I think it would be awesome if one day, like those of you guys who do play this game and kind of watch this on a regular basis, if you guys, like, tell me when you guys are on or something like that. Or, or I can post on Twitter, you know, saying, hey... I'm going to be on in like, you know, a couple hours. If you guys want to play, hit me up. 
and we can do something kind of cool together, like maybe help somebody out with a mission or something, because I know I've got like a whole bunch of heroic four missions here that I need multiple people to be able to accomplish. That'd be quite, kind of cool to do with you guys. So if you do play the game, go ahead and send me a message. And let me know what time you guys are on, what level you are, and stuff like that, because I don't know, I would feel bad asking somebody who's level 50 to kind of help me out. But at the same time, if you guys are like around my level, that would be perfect. But I'm not going to say no to somebody who wants to help me out. You know, who's level 50 or something like that. So, alright, this part, uh, probably not the best thing for a Jedi to do, because anybody you see in yellow, they won't do anything unless you attack them. So, Kaizen and I attack first, and we get some experience points off of these guys. And they're just sitting around, which is cool by me. Anyway, so here's the third one. We're going to go ahead and install the anti-jamming device. And i got to go back to the agent that I was talking to. So, don't have to travel too far. And I find him again. And we go ahead and turn this quest in. You're back. Thank goodness. Did you get all the devices in place? The devices are all in place. What a relief. I really can't thank you enough for your help. All right, let's see if these things work. They're booting up now. Synchronizing and... It's working! The frequencies are all clearing, one by one. This is fantastic. Then we are done here. I never could have done this without you. Never. Amazing. Here. I could never reward you enough for what you've done. I'll notify headquarters that the jammers are down. Thanks again for your help. This mission would have been a complete failure without you. All right, so I got that taken care of here. What do I want? Do I want the sash? Do I want the commendation? I think, yep, I take the commendation and a level up. So now I'm level 17. This will be something that kind of helps me out because I have additional abilities. But I'm not done with the quest yet. I'm going to go ahead and get one more from this little girl. Excuse me. You don't look like a Justicar. I hope. The Justicars say they're protecting us from the Black Sun. That they're better than the gangs, but they're not. I hate them. You're you're really not one, right? I don't want to get in trouble, like Brayden did. Who's Brayden? Are you asking for my help? Please, can you help me rescue Brayden? He's my brother. He's only 15, but they think he's older. They say they indentured him because he broke one of their stupid curfew laws. So they lock him up all day and make him shoot the Black Sun all night. He's going to die! If these Justicars wish to keep the peace, it will not be on the backs of children. Thank you. Are... are you really a Jedi? They say sometimes Jedi appear to children who are truly in need. To get to Brayden, you'll need some special belt they all wear. It's the only way to get past the security field where Brayden is. Please, please bring him back to me. Uh, this is something we're probably going to have to get to a little bit later because I find another quest not too far away. It's not that guy. Jedi, thank you for coming over. I am Fez Burba, scientist notary of the Republic and planetary consult to the Galactic Senate. My current project could alter history. If my theory proves correct, I will be the most famous scientist who ever lived. Consider this. We all know the Imperial bombardment of Coruscant wreaked havoc on the infrastructure. But what if it also damaged the planet's very core? Would there be a way to repair the damage? Perhaps, depending on the extent of it. But most likely the planet would have to be evacuated. It is crucial that I get seismic readings from the lower levels, specifically from the works sector. In the spirit of scientific inquiry, and on behalf of the safety of the Republic, I need you to perform this critical mission. Prove my theory correct, and the Senate will grant me a substantial endowment for further research. I will give you a generous reward as compensation. If your theory is incorrect, what happens then? I will still pay, of course, but your compensation will be significantly less. All that's required is that you take the Berber Seismic Activity Reader, my invention of course, and use it in the works. The reader is both accurate and user-friendly. The challenge will be in the journey, not in the science. Alright, so I gotta go down here, which is another level lower. And I apparently jumped the gun. I'm not supposed to be here yet. There's other things I'm supposed to do up above. 
But that's alright. I don't find that until later on. So, for whatever reason, apparently there's a whole bunch of droids down here who have gone rogue. They're supposed to be helping maintain this whole area, support, provide security. And I guess I have to take them down with the help of Kaizen. So, for quite a while, we're going to be fighting some droids and just kind of building up as we go along. So, you'll probably see the works again a little bit later in another episode, probably next week. I'm uh, just giving you guys just to, I guess, forewarn you a little bit. This is not going to be the only time you're going to see the works. But, of course, I'm going to go back up. As soon as this is, as soon as this is all done, now we're just going to go ahead and ensure that we get everything taken care of. Because if I miss out on any single quest that I could do, um, I missed out on a lot of experience points. And I really don't want to miss out on that at all. Alright, so we find a combat droid here who is in elite status. And we're going to go ahead and take him out here once again for the experience points. Kind of help us out here. And who knows, maybe he'll drop something pretty cool. So taking a look at it, I'm not too worried about having to heal Kaizen at this point because we'll probably be able to take him down. And we do take him down pretty quick with our powers combined. Anyway, so after we pick that up here, which that'll be kind of nice to give to Kaizen too. Um, I find the first place, which is glowing up here, where I have to go ahead and take that seismic reading. Kind of see what's going on with the planet and if it's something we need to evacuate or everything's all good. So, of course, the computer's not going to make it easy for us. And so I got to take these guys out. So you can see Kaizen, like I was saying, takes out the big person and then I kind of clean house afterwards. So here's what happens when I read it. Cool. All right, so of course it's not going to be an easy path there. Of course we're going to have some uh, trouble along the way. Have to fight some guys. Now these guys are actually off the direct path here, but I saw them over here. I'm like, you know what? Here's another chance for some experience points. Guys and I decide to go ahead and take them out. You can see off in the distance, there's one more. I'll let Kaizen finish him up. I'll pick up what everybody has dropped. Kaizen. Scan that. That's archaeology right there, you guys. Wouldn't it be cool if that's really how it worked? You just stood at something and scanned it, and then you became a more knowledgeable archaeologist. All right, so this guy is also elite status. So if I've learned anything from the last guy that we went up against that was elite, this shouldn't be a problem. But everybody's kind of different here in this game, so it may be something I do need to be worried about. Now, just taking a look... They're just about even. I'd say that the combat droid is actually winning here between him and Kaiser, even with me sitting back here and trying to help out. So what I may have to do, and that's what I'm doing right now, is just healing Kaizen. I'm not necessarily going to be worried about applying some damage because, like I said in the last episode, if I can heal Kaizen quicker than the enemy can damage him, we can do this all day, or at least until my force runs out. So, we get the kill. It's time to move on here a little bit more. So we found another point on here, but now I don't want to necessarily give it away here, but I think I might have to. There are imp Imperials here. So those of the Sith Empire are down here in the works on Coruscant. So this is not cool. What, I, what happened is I came across somebody who was a Republic soldier who was taking down some of the droids and then also mentioned that they were on their way to the Jedi Temple and ran into some Imperials. So while I'm down here in the works and probably later on, I'm going to be tackling Imperials the entire time. So before I can go ahead and get to the second point where I'm supposed to take some readings and find out what's going on, i got to take these guys out here and destroy the Imperials. So I'll let Kaizen do that because yeah, he's beating him. This droid isn't like anybody who is necessarily too tough, but because he was going after me, I'm going to go ahead and heal myself, and then I'll come up here and help Kaizen 
Yeah, you can see this is not going to be a problem. But he's tough for being considered a strong class. Pick that up. Do some more archaeology over here. Go ahead and read that. Now, this is something that's going to help me out with crafting. That's kind of why I chose that. So, we'll go ahead and do the second reading. Since you guys already saw what happens earlier, it's basically the same thing. So, the guy is just going to... Little droid here, I guess I should say. He's going to come up here. Check that out. Maybe go up a little bit farther. All right, and he's going to let me know what happens. So, so far you've been progressing pretty well through the works. You can see we're a little bit deeper. That's why it's darker, stuff like that. There's a couple routes that you can go. This, uh, this direction that I'm going right now, just to make sure that I get to the third and final place to be able to read what's going on. And then there's one other direction, which when I come back... Sorry, when I come back to the works, you guys are going to be able to see. So, guys and I will take these guys down. I think we'll actually find out what's going on with the planet here in a little bit once uh, we kind of finish fighting these guys. So, because this one's a little bit different, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to be quiet for this part here while I go ahead and read it. Of course I was going to do the right thing. Anyway, it's time to tell him that nothing is wrong with the planet. Welcome back, my illustrious colleague. Tell me you've taken the seismic readings. There were some problems, but everything's fine now. Fantastic! I tell you, we're going to make history together. Quickly, please, let me examine the Burma seismic activity reader. What? It can't be. This indicates there is no unusual seismic activity at all. It seems your theory proved to be incorrect. I just can't believe it. I haven't been wrong in so long. This could reflect very poorly on my reputation. I suggest you take your compensation and keep quiet. I believe the reward is generous given the outcome. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have much to consider. Farewell. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and call this an episode here since uh, there's plenty more for us to do and plenty of time to do it in. So anyway, like I was saying, if you guys are on the game, go ahead and send me a message. Let me know what rank you are and kind of where you're at. And maybe we can kind of do something together. Uh, I think it would be kind of fun. Anyway, thanks for watching, you guys. I really appreciate every view that I get, not only for this, but for everything else. Uh, subscribe if you haven't already. Level up. Feel free to follow me on Facebook, Twitter, all that stuff. Anyway, you guys really are awesome. Thank you so much. And as always, I hope you guys have a good one.